Welcome back to the channel guys, it's uh, Snapper77. Today we're having a look at the uh, new challenge that came out today. Uh, I forget the name of the challenge, I think it's the Champions Challenge or something like that. Uh, this is into the final uh, final tier, uh, tier 6 for the um, the last, it's the last, uh, last run for the boss. Uh, first match here, Magic, uh, it was, this match was the easiest match in the whole challenge pretty well, especially if you got a blade. Without a blade, it's probably uh, a little harder, I'm going to say. Uh, if you don't have blades, you could probably use a Gladiator Hulk, um, a Bishop, or possibly a Magic, or another power control champ, like maybe your Mama or something like that. But uh, Blade with the Ghost Rider, or you don't even need the Ghost Rider synergy with Magic because she's a dimensional being. So just Blade by himself for this match is all you really need. Uh, and going into this match, uh, this is this was my uh, MVP of the whole thing. Um, I did not die once to Hyperion in this uh, in this whole challenge, and uh, Loki soloed him every single time. Um, I had some difficulties. I had to, I, I had to uh, exit a few times. Uh, I, I got to tier three a few few times, and uh, just magic wasn't wasn't cutting it the way I, I wanted. Um, either she was not uh, he was not cooperating on um, baiting specials till I was able to get to get him locked. And then uh, a couple other times uh, I had the wall trick fail on him once I did get him locked and then uh, that was a, a real struggle so I, I decided I, I rocked my brains out trying to think who I could use I was going to use Killmonger and then I was going to use Scarlet Witch and then I was going to use um, Vision but I thought why not why not use Loki because uh, he doesn't need to uh, he did, because of his power game he doesn't need to get he doesn't need to get like too doesn't need to do any blocking whatsoever is basically what I'm trying to say you can use the power game to, uh, to open up all kinds of uh, attacks and with this power game it's he can he can use his L1 pretty well at will so every time that Hyperion gets that buff uh, the power game buff it's just come in and drop the L1 and steal it beta beta it out a special and you keep him you notice Hyperion he's he's on the wall pretty well this whole fight and that's the best place where you want to be fighting your opponent is when they're when they're pinned on the wall I was getting in trouble with uh, with magic I was getting pinned in the corner and getting uh, you don't want to face Hyperion's heavy when you're uh, pinned in the corner and especially when he's gaining power because he's not going to throw his special at all when you're pinned in the corner and he's right at you, he's not going to throw that special. So I ended up uh, taking a chance and I brought in my 345 Loki and it turned out that he was my uh, MVP of the whole thing. Uh, this was probably uh, the hardest match really to, uh, for most people, it would probably be the hardest match if they, especially if they don't have uh, the, the buff counters. Loki gets overlooked a lot of times as uh, someone who's trash and is no good for nothing, but uh, he, he's very useful, especially against these cosmic champs who don't have, um, most cosmic champs don't have um, passive, passive buffs. So it leaves them wide open for Loki to steal all their buffs. So he's kind of a really good cosmic killer. That's that's for sure. So um, after this match, I mean, like he's only 345, and he doesn't hit all that hard. But uh, he does hit hard if he steals steals any sort of offensive buffs like Fury and that, which you'll see in the boss fight. I used actually used Loki to uh, to beat the final boss, the champion as well. He was the MVP of that fight. Uh, I used all my other champs with uh, no no success. Uh, wasn't able to, uh, to to get the solo with him, but I, I come close and I made a mistake at the end. You'll see later on. Uh, after this match was the who was uh, who's after this match? Oh yeah, it's Void. Another easy match, especially if you have Blade. Uh, if you don't have Blade, the match could be uh, could be trouble. If you don't uh, 
You, some people would bring in Blade without Ghost Rider. I brought in Ghost Rider just because I wanted that villain synergy for Void just to make that fight really easy. Uh, I didn't want to didn't want to take any chances with that. So that's what I would strongly recommend is bring in the full uh, Trinity. I used uh, Stark Hand Spider Man, Ice Man. That's who's coming up next is Ice Man. I used Stark Hand Spider Man for Ice Man all the way. Uh, he he killed me in the last round there. The cold snap finally got to me. And uh, I had been topping, I topped up his health after tier three, but uh, I, I made a costly error on him and I lost lost uh, round four to, to Iceman. And so, uh, yeah, but other than that, Sparky was, uh, was, was pretty well just, just used for that fight only. I didn't want to use him uh, too many other fights because I knew he was going to be taking that cold snap damage every uh, every fight so I tried to just reserve him just for the Iceman fight and, uh, here it is here I think I threw on one health pot there just to make sure uh, he had the team revive I think I gave him one health pot just to uh, just to make sure he was going to survive this cold snap and a little bit of chip damage and I was just hoping that I was gonna have a nice clean fight and not have to uh, not have to re to revive, or I probably would just finish with magic. All in all, the quest was pretty pretty easy uh, for the most part. I mean, there was it said so. I mean, there's 30 fights in the quest before the boss, so you're gonna have chip damage here and there you're gonna make a mistake you're gonna die the odd time and you're gonna to use some top-up health potions but uh it wasn't uh, it wasn't too bad overall i think i used around three or four hundred units uh i don't have, i didn't have any uh resources in the in inventory because i've been going hard on the variant quest uh so i kind of forgot about this challenge and i was like oh geez i don't even have any resources for this challenge so I burned, I think, three or 400 units to, to get her done. Just uh, one team revive, uh, and then I took a couple single revives and some top-ups. This match is uh, really easy if you got the danger sense. Uh, if you don't have the danger sense, it's still pretty good with Blade, but it's it, the match is definitely longer and a little bit more difficult. Uh, other counters, other counters that you could possibly use against Void it would be Agent Venom. He can shrug off his debuffs. Uh, Kingpin can as well, and any of those uh, those those skill champions uh, that purify. Killmonger is another one that can purify his buffs. Is is uh, is uh, intimidating debuffs. I always forget the name of what they're called. And here's the Corvus Glaive. Uh, I used magic for, for uh, Corvus uh, every time. He killed me, uh, he killed my magic in, in tier four. And then I just, I, or tier five, I'm sorry. Uh, he ended up killing my magic and then I just used the rest of my other low health champs to finish him off and then pop the team revive for the last, uh, last round. This round I got Corvus uh, really good. I got the uh, the wall trick going uh, nice and was able to uh, to get a nice solo here without taking any hits or anything like that. Overall, uh, Corvus Glaive probably gave me the most trouble out of any other champ in the uh, in the quest, uh, mainly because it was. Uh, his blocking, uh, his his ability to hit through the block is a critical hit through the block, which uh, can really uh, give you some trouble if you're not too careful. And uh, now we're moving on to the, uh, the final boss, the champion, and uh, like I said, my MVP of this was uh, 345 five star Loki, and I basically fought him very similar to the way I fought Hyperion. I was just gonna spam my L1 and steal his buffs when they came up. And uh, when you steal the champion's fairy buffs, it, it makes uh, makes Loki hit quite a bit harder than he normally does, that's for sure. So 
and all, and it gives you lots of easy openings for for attack. You use his power gain, um, bait is special, which is really easy to bait. Then you come in, and drop your L1, steal the Fury buff, bait the bait the head, or bait the special, drop the L1, steal the Fury. So it was just like rinse and repeat. And the odd time I would parry him, or I would just uh, wait for my power gain to come back online where I had a bar of power and then uh, intercept him with a special. If he, if he didn't, that's what I would do. If he didn't have a bar of power, I would just wait for my power gain to get to a bar of power and intercept him with a special. The odd time I used to parry, but uh, he, hits, uh, he hits pretty hard. And that's the whole idea behind my, uh, my plan with Loki is I would not have to take very much block damage whatsoever. If I use Loki, I could use his power gain and uh, intercept with specials and counter his specials with combos and use the L1 to steal all his, his buffs. Kind of disappointed I didn't get the solo on this. I was really, really hoping. I just kind of, kind of messed up at the end. At the end, he was starting to get the regen buffs in that, and he got an unstoppable, and I just wasn't able to. I just sort of walked right into it without the, every because everything was going so smooth, and it just just like that, it came all unglued in a matter of a second. Then after uh, I uh, I used my other champs, uh, it didn't go very well at all with the other champs because they're all those got the Champions of the Universe edge and he was just regenning like mad and so I just decided enough of this I'm gonna go back to Loki um, and so I went back to Loki and I think I tied I think I died before I like I think I got him all the way down to one percent and died again and then so I had to revive one more time to, to go in for the kill but uh, yeah you can see like 106 hits and uh, this uh, this champion's in a lot of trouble. Like that's that's pretty good for a 345 uh, five star to have have uh, 108 hits in on him and, and the fight's almost over. Yeah, I think coming up here now he's he's down to 20. percent I think he starts to get uh, yeah the unstoppable and then with the regen he shot back up to. Uh, almost 40% uh, health there. Uh, I was like, well, that sucks. So I was, I was just trying to keep my cool there. My, uh, so much for keeping my cool. But uh, yeah, so that was, uh, that was my fight with the champion. This is uh, after using my other champs. I think I can only put 15 minute videos up, so I had to edit some stuff out. So I edited out the, those matches and able to keep this uh, keep this under 15 minutes. Well, that's uh, that's my video, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope. Uh, it helps uh, some of you guys out to uh, looking for some uh, different kind of options for uh, Hyperion and the champion. You can always count on Loki for uh, those those cosmic champs.